Accounting and financial management are complex topics. But when it comes to running a successful business, these principles are crucial for accurately tracking costs and revenues. Revenue and cost recognition principles provide the basis for this process, allowing businesses to accurately record their transactions to maintain financial stability. We'll take an in-depth look at revenue and cost recognition principles so you can better understand how to register your financials accurately. We'll also touch on why it's essential to stay up to date with accounting standards and regulations, allowing you to make sound business decisions that drive success. Revenue Recognition Principle The Revenue Recognition Principle is the accounting principle that requires revenue to be recognized in the period in which it is earned. This means that revenue should not be reported in the period in which it is collected. The rationale behind this principle is that revenue represents the increase in equity of a company resulting from its activities during a specific period. By matching revenues with expenses, we can better understand a company's financial performance for a particular period. There are two main types of revenue, operating revenue and non-operating revenue. Using revenue is generated from a company's core business activities, while non-operating revenue comes from sources outside the company's regular business operations. Revenue can also be classified as either primary or secondary. Primary revenue is generated directly from a company's activities, while secondary revenue is generated indirectly. For example, if a company sells products, the sales would be considered primary revenue. If the products sold are used to make other products, then the sales would be considered secondary revenue. The timing of when to recognize revenue depends on when the sale occurs and when payment is received. For example, if goods are sold on credit, revenue should only be realized when payment is received. Revenue should still be recognized up front if services are provided up front but only invoice later. Cost Recognition Principle The cost recognition principle is the basic accounting rule that requires expenses to be recognized in the period they are incurred. This means that all costs must be matched with revenues in the same period. For example, if a company incurs $100 of advertising expenses in January, it must recognize that expense in January even if the related sales only occur in February. This matching of expenses and revenues is crucial because it ensures that a company's financial statements accurately reflect its true profitability. If expenditures were not matched with revenues, a company could appear profitable when it is losing money. There are two main methods for recognizing costs, the accrual method and the cash method. Under the accrual method, expenses are recognized as soon as they are incurred, regardless of when they are paid. Under the cash method, costs are only recognized when they are paid. Most companies use the accrual method because it provides a more accurate picture of profitability. However, some exceptions exist where the cash method may be used, such as for tax purposes. Matching Principle The matching principle is an accounting concept used to determine when expenses should be recognized. The regulation states that expenses should be matched with the revenues they help generate. This means that any costs incurred in generating a sale should be recognized simultaneously as the revenue from the sale. This allows businesses to provide accurate financial statements and reports that accurately reflect their performance. For example, if a business incurs costs to acquire inventory, those costs should be recognized when the inventory is sold rather than when it was purchased earlier. How to apply the revenue and cost recognition principles in your business? The revenue and cost recognition principles are the basic guidelines for financial reporting. By applying these principles, businesses can provide accurate and timely information about their financial performance. Revenue is recognized when it is earned, which is typically when goods or services are supplied to customers. Costs are recognized when they are incurred, which is usually when resources are used up or consumed in the production of goods or services. In order to apply the revenue and cost recognition principles in your business, you need to clearly understand your company's activities and transactions. You also need to keep accurate records of all income and expenditures. Once you have this information, you can then start to apply the principles to your financial reporting. It is important to note that the revenue and cost recognition principles are not static. They can change over time as accounting authorities issue new guidance. As such, it is crucial to keep up to date with any changes that may affect how you recognize revenue and costs in your business.